Hey fellow sewing machine uh, or crafters, uh, uh, this is a, a Nikia, a uh, really nice uh, one. This is uh, the one I use, it's a HD22. I've made videos on how to take care of this. Um, so uh, the needle plate uh, does get hit with the things I do. I sew bags like this into products. You'll see them on my YouTube channel and definitely on my uh, Facebook, Quinn's Recycle Products. I will pull a lot of the products on there. And when this stuff starts uh, doing things like, uh, see these things right here? And this is the underside. This is underneath. And it's not tension at all. Okay, all this stuff is happening and definitely on this side. Okay, right there. When that starts happening, it's on the bottom, underneath. And usually what happens underneath is caused by something on top. In this case, it's not. It is the needle plate. Okay, so I was trying to restore a Montgomery Ward 1943 sewing machine. It didn't turn out too good, but what happened is the needle plate was so disastrous. So I took a picture of it. It's in the next picture in this video. You'll see it the before, and I filed it, and you'll see it afterwards, and it worked great for a while until the machine didn't die itself. So, uh, so I've learned a lot since. Uh, these two have to be worked on. I just worked on the one inside there. I get two of these for the Nikki for $16 and some change off of uh, eBay. All right, the Montgomery Ward, you couldn't buy it. It was obsolete. So you had to actually find a way to fix that. So there's a sewing machine uh, repair shop down in North Carolina I called for service on another machine uh, inquiring about it. He told me about it, and now I'm making a video of, of it. So it's thanks to him, and I forgot his name, but he's down in North Carolina. All right, so uh, here we go. I'm going to take you through... Um, show you the picture before. I'm going to show you how to file with sandpaper the hole right here and then I'm going to show you the ending picture and that's it. I'm not going to bring you back and show you how it turned out because it's going to turn out good. It's a, it's a cheap way, easy way to do it. Just get the right kind of sandpaper and you're on your way. Alright, here we go. Alright, you can take a uh, piece of... I t this is 120 grade sandpaper and I uh, kind of fold it over to where it's small enough to go inside where the needle plate is, the part that's uh, damaged. You're going to put it in there and slide it in. And you grab one on each side and you start pulling it back and forth. So you start sanding like this and you sand up and down and hit the area that is really uh, grooved in, really notched in because you need to get that uh, level down. Now after work, you know, I do it a couple of times. It takes a little while to do, and um, and keep checking it. You might need a magnifying glass to do that to make sure. And when you go down, you just bring it around and start working up this way here, and just keep going back and forth, almost like you're sawing something, but you're sanding something. Just keep going and check on it frequently, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after I'm done, compare it to the first one, and then uh, put it back in 43. Montgomery Ward sewing machine, see if it works.